In this lesson, we're going to work on the word there. There is a word used to show that a group owns something. Let's dive in. Listen and learn. Again, there is a word used to show that a group owns something. This is a group of people. They own something. The eyes in their heads. <laughs> I want to talk about the eyes that belong to this group. Instead of saying, the eyes that belong to this group are brown, I can say, their eyes are brown. See? All of their sandwiches look yummy. I want to put them in my tummy. This boy sees a group of sandwiches that belong to a group of people. They own the sandwiches, so the boy uses there to talk about the yummy food. Look at those birds up in the sky. They flap their wings and fly so high. We say they flap their wings because the wings belong to the birds the same way your arms belong to you. I think you're ready to come up with your own sentence with the word there in it. If you're not, that's okay. Just say one of ours. Your turn. Wordplay. There, th, air. Our first sound is th, and in this word, that's formed by t, h. The next sound is air, and that is formed by e, i, r. There, th is t, h. Air is formed by e, i, r. There. Now it's your turn to spell there on your own. You have five seconds. Right, right, right. Did you spell there? T, h, e, i, r. If you did. Pretend like you're eating a big sandwich. Wrap up. Let's remember what we've learned. There is spelled T H E I R. There is a word used to show that a group owns something. Let's remember how to use there in sentences. All of their sandwiches look yummy. I want to put them in my tummy. Look at those birds up in the sky. They flap their wings and fly so high. This brings us to the end of our lesson on the word there. You're watching Lumi Learning. Learn words, friends. <laughs>